This video is about maximizing base defense, particularly wall construction, when it comes to defending against explosives. Disclaimer, the hard truth about Conan is that, short of glitching, no base is safe from raiding. A determined player with enough time will eventually breach your walls. Besides actively countering a raid, the next best defensive strategy is to make the resources required to raid your base greater than the resources gained from raiding. Basically, make the profits not worth the investment. Let's start with simple designs and then increase the complexity. The amount of damage an explosive can cause is dependent on a lot of factors, but generally the max damage to any single piece is going to fluctuate between 10,848 and 10,870. The damage is not affected by building type, so sandstone, stone brick, and reinforced stone all take the same damage. Up first, a door. At 25,000 health, it only takes 3 explosives to destroy it. A single wall, at 70k health, it takes 7 explosives to destroy it. A raised foundation, at 100,000 health, it takes 10 explosives to destroy it. If you didn't know, you can actually use fence foundations as walls. So a raised fence foundation, at 90,000 health, takes 9 explosives to destroy it. Now, let's get more complex. Two walls can be placed on a foundation. The first wall will only take seven explosives to destroy it. It's important to note that the second wall does not take damage. So, to penetrate both walls, it takes 14 explosives total. Now we can take the same setup and add a foundation to the center. The walls must be placed prior to placing the foundation or it won't fit. First wall takes 7 explosives to destroy, but check this out. The foundation also takes full damage, so having the first wall is unnecessary. The foundation takes 10 explosives and the second wall takes 7 explosives, so it's 17 total explosives to penetrate it. Swapping out fence foundations for walls. We see that the explosives penetrate the first wall and does full damage to the foundation. So the first foundation is also unnecessary. In total it takes 19 explosives to destroy the foundation and the fence foundation. You can use fence foundations to place additional layers into a single square. Place a fence foundation, then lay a second one over top and rotate it. You can now place a fence in the middle of the square. Destroy the second fence and place a third fence on the outside. The setup will allow you to place three layers instead of two onto a single square. As you can see, we can now place three walls for more defense. The first wall takes seven explosives to destroy, and unlike our previous test, the middle wall does not take damage. It takes seven more explosives to destroy the second wall, and 21 total to destroy all three walls. What we also find is that the ground floor foundation is unnecessary, so we can get rid of that to save on resources. Using fence foundations in place of walls is even more effective. The same pattern applies and it takes 27 total explosives to destroy all three fence foundations. Now let's just see what happens when we place a fourth fence foundation perpendicular to the three parallel fences. It does not take damage. Unfortunately, this by itself would not stop a raider from walking by it, but what we can do is place pillars in the spaces next to the wall.
with two pillars placed as close it is impossible to walk between them. This perpendicular wall now serves a bigger purpose, to prevent damage to the middle fence. Let's go step by step and see how this setup withstands explosives. The first fence foundation takes damage, but none of the pieces behind it take any damage. It will take 9 explosives to destroy this first fence. With this fence piece gone, the raider will have to blow his way through the pillars. Damage is only sustained by the pillar and the perpendicular fence. With 9 more explosives, the perpendicular fence is destroyed, which exposes the middle fence. Placing an explosive against this wall blocks all the damage behind it, so it takes 9 more explosives to destroy the middle fence. At this point, the two front pillars and the middle fence will be gone, leaving only the back two pillars and final fence. Even though the final fence will be destroyed before the pillars, the raider can't squeeze through the pillars, so he'll have to destroy those as well. It will take 10 explosives to destroy a pillar, for a total of 37 explosives. The final fence is unnecessary as it doesn't increase the total explosive count, however, it would block damage from spreading inside your base.